Part 7, geometry proofs provide the reasons for each statement. If B is between A and C, where A, C is equal to 21, B, C is equal to 15 minus X, and A, B is equal to 4 plus 2X, prove that X is equal to 2. So, this right here is my given. So, I'm going to write that there. So, I write B is between A and and C, and we know that AC is equal to 21, BC is equal to 15 minus X, and AB is equal to four plus two X. And that reason is given, okay? So all I have to do for the first statement is I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste it right here. And the reason should always be given for the first one. Okay, now before I look into all of this, I want to go ahead and just read this again and draw a picture because that's going to help me, you know, understand how this proof is going to go. Okay, so I'm going to draw A and C because it says if B is between A and C, so my endpoints are A and C, B is between those two points where we know that AC is 21. So that's 21. BC is 15 minus X. And AB is 4 plus 2X. Okay? So then I can see that this is a segment addition postulate proof. This is a part plus part is equal to a whole. So really that's part plus part equals a whole. And really I will say AB plus... BC is equal to 21 and when I start replacing these variables Actually, it should be a B plus BC is, is equal to a C and a B is 4 plus 2 X and BC is 15 so plus 15 minus X Which is equal to 21. Okay, so this is because of um, Really these two here these two that's the segment addition postulate. And then this is, I'm going to be substituting right here. And then now this stuff is going to be like this stuff here. That's just gonna be the algebra stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna be providing those reasons once I get into that stage. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the proof. Cause I, when I did all this, I did not look at all of this stuff because because doing this will help me ha give it will give me an idea on what to do. So we said that one B is between A and C. A C is equal to twenty one. B C equals is equal to fifteen minus X and A B is equal to four plus two X. That's a given. Then it's going from here to here. So it says A B plus B C is equal to A C. Well, A B plus B C equals A C. This is all because of segment addition postulate. Okay. So right now, I or right here, I was in the given stage. I'm using what I have or I can assume. And then this is my setup phase. So number two and three should be your setup phase because this is the segment addition postulate where I'm dealing with the variables. Then I'm going to start replacing. So we know that AB is four plus two X. BC is, uh, sorry, um, this is BC. BC is 15 minus X. And the whole thing, that's 21. And I'm using the substitution property. So that I'm going to replace those variables with those expressions. So substitution property will be right there. Then this is all algebra. So for plus 15 that's 19 and then I can see that 2x minus x is x so this is me using combine like terms terms then going from here to here I'm gonna minus the 19 on both sides so I get x equals 2 which is what I 
proved right there. So that's the subtraction property of equality. Okay? Okay, refer to the picture on the right, given that measure angle A, O, B is X, and measure angle B, O, C is 2X plus 10, and the whole thing is 139 measure angle AOC right there prove that X is equal to 43 all right so I'm gonna do something different I am NOT gonna look at the proof but I know that this is something I can assume so given that measure angle AOB is X and measure angle BOC is 2x plus 10 and the measure angle AOC is 139 um, just by looking at this picture it looks like I'm dealing with a part plus a part is equal to a whole you can see that right there so part plus part is equal to a whole. We can see that AB plus, so this is AB, and then here's, oh wait, no, not AB, my bad. I meant to say um, measure angle AOB. There we go, so here's angle AOB, measure angle AOB, plus the measure angle BOC, plus the measure angle BOC is equal to the whole thing, 139. So this thing is 139, right? So, and actually, I did, I'm, I'm making that mistake again. It's, I'm dealing with variables, right? So measure angle AOB plus measure angle BOC. So this part plus this part is going to give me that whole part. So that's measure angle AOC. So then now, what is measure angle AOB? It's X plus measure angle BOC is 2X plus 10. And then that whole thing we said was 139. Okay. So how can I do... So what is this part here? That's the angle addition postulate. And I was substituting here. So then now what? I'm definitely going to do some algebra and provide reasons. Okay, I know this is pretty sloppy, but this is kind of like my scratch work before I get into the proof. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the proof now. Uh, again, given measure angle AOB is X and measure angle BOC is 2X plus 10 and measure angle AOC is 139, prove that X is equal to 43. And this picture was very, very helpful. You may not get a picture like this, but it was very, very helpful to like give me an idea on what I really, really need to like think about, if that makes sense, because I can see that I'm really dealing with a part plus part is equal to a whole, that's angle addition postulate. So first, um, I'm, I, I like, I'm sorry I'm going like I'm all over the place right now, but again, it looks like I'm, this is my setup phase. This is right here this is my setup phase and then i'm going to start substituting and start doing the algebra so setup phase right now is i'm going to write the given so measure angle a o b is x measure angle b o c is 2x plus 10 and measure angle a o c is 139 i do not write the proof because that is what you're trying to show that should be at the end, okay? So, first reason, always given. There you go. Now, what, what's going to happen? So, if I look at this picture, it looks like a part plus part is equal to a whole, or the measure angle AOB plus the measure angle BOC is equal to the whole thing, measure angle AOC. And why? Why can we say this? That's because that's the angle addition postulate. Okay, very, very similar to the segment addition postulate, but we're dealing with angles here. Then, what do you think I'm going to do now? Well, if I'm ready to do algebra, because it looks like this is an algebra problem based on what I'm trying to prove right here, x is equal to some number, this is algebra. So here, I got to start replacing the things uh, that are given, and we know that the measure angle AOB is x, so x plus the measure angle BOC, that's... 2x plus 10 and that is equal to the whole thing 
So measure angle AOC is 139. And I'm replacing, so that's the substitution property. Okay, then, okay, so this is my given, and then really this is my setup phase. I'm done with the setup phase. Now I'm going to get into the algebra phase. Uh, algebra phase. So just by looking at this, I can combine these two terms here, right? Um, let's see, that should be 3x plus 10. Yeah, so my key is right. So 3x plus 10 is equal to 139, okay? Because I'm just combining like terms. And then minus 10 on both sides, so I get 3x equals 129, so that's the subtraction property of equality. Then I'm definitely going to divide now, so that's going to be x equals 43, which is the division, division property of equality. Okay, so really, if you were really, really strong with unit one, if you were really, really strong with unit one and you're able to look at your ping sheet and know what the heck is going on, you are able to do these proofs easily, okay? And also, if you're really, really strong with algebra, you can do these proofs. I believe in you. All right. Good luck. Have fun with your studies.